Oh. Yeehaw. G give her a throttle snap. Oh, yeah. Today here at Charlie's Foreign Car, we've got a Toyota that got towed in. Uh, the owner here, Dylan. And we think it might have a bad head gasket. What, what happened, Dylan? I was driving down the freeway. Noticed things were starting to run kind of strange. Engine stalled. I started it back up, kept going. And then I noticed the heat started, temperature started rising. And I was very clearly overheating. So I got off the freeway as quick as I could. Truck stalled again, and I couldn't get it started. Noticed the radiator hose had popped off. So I put that back on, filled it up with water, and then it wouldn't start. So I knew something was probably very wrong. When we think a head gasket might be bad, um, we've got the radiator cap right here. The top of the radiator is right here. If we get combustion into the cooling system, it will fill the entire cooling system with combustion and it can like blow stuff out. So go ahead and fire it up. I wouldn't stand that close, cameraman. Oh, yeehaw, G give her a throttle snap. Oh yeah. All right, shut her down. All right, so why did water just come out of the radiator cap? The engine block, the head gasket, or the cylinder head has a leak of combustion into the cooling system. So whenever you take that up, now don't ever do this when the engine's hot, you'll burn yourself. The engine's cold right now, it has no temperature, it's just room temp right now. Uh, so if you ever wanna see if you have a bad he head gasket, this is one test, and all it's doing is pumping uh, combustion from the inside of the engine into the cooling system and just spraying it out wherever there's a leak. Right now we've created a, le a leak by just removing the cap. Dylan, thank you very much for coming down and dropping this thing off and checking it out. So if you have any questions, call me, drop me a line, comment, whichever you wanna do. <laughs>